All right, awesome. So first um, we have Richard here. And first I wanna ask you, Richard, to just say your full name, where you're from and what organization you represent. Hi, Mary, I'm Richard Rosengarten and I'm from Miami, Florida and I represent Bates Early Childhood Center, PTC Inc. And it's a, it's a nonprofit, it's a mouthful, but it's a nonprofit. It's like a PTA, it's a nonprofit that supports a preschool that's associated with a synagogue down here, Bates Congregation. Okay, cool. So thank you so much for doing this. Um, we worked together for a few months to be able to get your numbers up, to be able to you know, put the school on the map uh, and we changed the branding. We did a lot of things. I'll let you talk a little bit more about that. But kind of like, what was your biggest hesitation, you know, when right before we started uh, working together, what were some of the things and your challenges that you were facing with, um, and not just, you know, with the organization itself, but just finding the right person that would help you to get to the level that you wanted to get to? Right, so we, we had, we definitely had challenges and, Mainly it was that we were sort of starting a school year almost from scratch because we had this turnover in faculty. We had a longtime institutional preschool director who retired. And so we hired somebody new. Plus, we were in COVID land. So we were in October 2020 and we were just opening for the first time. And in a school that in a prior year had something like 30 kids, we opened in October with six kids. Um, a lot of parents hesitating to put their kids in. You know, we were doing everything in consultation with DCF and opening as safely as we could. But with the new director and new faculty, plus COVID, it, it, we just had this very, very low enrollment. And obviously in order to be successful and be viable, the preschool needed to get its numbers up. So I am a lay leader in the synagogue and I became the vice president on the board of the synagogue of the preschool. Yeah. And so I was just kind of thrust into this role. And so it was a combination of things that I was new to this too. And so, you know, one challenge for me also and a hesitation for me was I needed, we needed to do marketing, I mean, in essence, but it was more than that because I needed someone who could help me figure out some of the more basic things about how we can have a presence and how we can just put basic information of ourselves out there. How do we do our website? How do we do our social media? And then on top of that, more sophisticated things like, okay, how do we do a targeted social media marketing campaign? I had basic ideas that you know of the things you could do in terms of social media advertising and i needed help with that but i needed even more basic stuff how do we get our branding in order how to get our website straight things like that <laughs> yeah um i remember talking about yeah. that <laughs> and just like cool. what what other tools are, are there out there i mean i know websites and facebook and instagram but like is there anything else <laughs> yeah totally yeah. So, so now that we, you know, we worked together for a while. So like, take me through that process. How was that process for you? What are some of the things that, you know, when we started working together, you kind of saw more, um, more traction and how did that impact the organization um, to where you are today? Sure. Um, so I, you know, when we started talking, it was, uh, clear to me that you were organized that you knew how to <laughs> help me figure out what I needed to do. And I mean, just from the beginning, we established our goals of, of, of what we needed to do and in what priority. I mean, the basic idea was we needed to get advertising out there to let people know that our school still exists and it's still open and that it's safe and that you should put your kids here. Um, and, you know, but some of the most basic things needed to be addressed first. And we were able to quickly talk through those and identify them. Like we had a problem with our website. It's, it was weirdly split into two different websites because mm -hmm. of some efforts some people before me were trying to make. And like I said, the, the preschool's connected with Beit Shara Synagogue. And so the synagogue website has a page for the preschool. 
but then somebody made some other separate website for the preschool and, and, and people were being sent to different places and it just didn't make sense. And so, you know, we were able to establish early on, like priority one, let's get this website thing in order. <laughs> yeah. And you were, and, and it was helpful. You were able to explain to me, you know, why it was better to keep the website folded into the synagogue website, as opposed to making some separate website for the preschool you know, both for a kind of ideological reason, like we, we want it to be known that our preschool is part of the synagogue. Yeah. Because even though we're open to, we're open to all faiths and communities, you know, the, the synagogue accepts everybody. We don't discriminate on the basis of anything. Um, we've always had, you know, multi-faith student enrollment, but the fact that it's part of a synagogue is part of its identity. We teach the kids Hebrew and, and, and parents who even aren't Jewish, you know, appreciate that. And, and we have a lot of non-Jewish parents in the school. So that's kind of like an ideological reason, but then a practical reason, which is you were able to explain to me that by folding it into the long existing synagogue website, it helped with its SEO It helped drive traffic to the preschool page if the preschool page was part of the synagogue website, which had been around for a long time. So, yeah. you know, we were able to kind of identify these priorities pretty early on. And we knew we had to get to a place where we were coming up with ad campaigns and trying to target mm -hmm. audiences. But, you know, we had some like steps one, two, and three, and we were able to figure out what those were pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, and, and and not only that, I mean, like I said, you know, there were some things that I didn't know about that you were able to get us on to. Like, I, I knew we had to get our website straight, <laughs> but, you know, you exposed me to some other tools that I didn't know about, like Calendly uh, to help book appointments, uh, to speak with the school director, which, by the way, she's been getting appointments to Calendly. That's awesome. <laughs> um, she, she, she just told me last week, and, and I think we're going to get a couple of students out of it. That's and, awesome. Um, mail Chimp to just organize and send out emails. And um, and again, with the website, I mean, just showing me how to use Squarespace, the platform that it's on, you know, yeah. just the basics of it. Like I was able to make changes to the website just the other day when I had no clue how to do that. <laughs> yeah, I hear that a lot. A lot of people who have a business or represent companies or our schools, like your case, they don't even know how to change the phone number on the website and that can be pretty frustrating so i totally can relate to that um is there something that you know that was uh, i would call it maybe like a golden nugget or something that uh, maybe like sticks with you from our conversations from the work that we did together that you want to share yeah i i i think honestly um from the it was from one of the very first conversations, you know, that we had, and it was what we just talked about where, you know, in the discussion about the website, you know, um, why it was better to have it folded into the synagogue website, the kind of ideological reason that ended up underpinning like everything else that we ended up talking about. Right. I mean, when you, made that suggestion to me, you know, well, you didn't, you didn't actually tell me what to do. You know, you asked me, well, what do you want people to know about what you are? Is it important to you whether to tell people that the preschool is associated with the synagogue? Right. And I think that for all the, you know, technical things we ended up doing and the tools we ended up acquiring, which were all helpful. I, I think that, that one of those first conversations where you know, it, it just kind of set me in the right mindset of what is it that we want to tell people about who we are and why is that important? That ended up undergirding everything else we did. Because when it came mm -hmm. time to make a flyer, what's the verbiage on it? It's right. where I kind of came up with the phraseology that we've been using ever since, which is that, you know, we are a preschool open to all faiths and communities with a focus on Jewish education in Hebrew language or, or mm -hmm. Jewish tradition in Hebrew language. And that duality that we try to express where, you know, we are open to everybody and we want anyone and everyone, but we are like outwardly and foundationally 
you know, part of a synagogue with a Jewish mm -hmm. background and we right. teach the kids Hebrew and they learn, you know, Jewish songs and things like that. So when it came yeah. time to come up with flyers, when it came time to come up with, um, you know, what the, who, who we were targeting in the social media campaigns, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that was really, uh, that was the golden nugget. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. So if um, somebody was considering working with me in a, any number of projects, whether it's uh, tech with their software or email marketing or, I don't know, a website, what would you tell that person hesitating to, you know, to start working together? What would you tell the person who, who wants to make a change in their business or, or needs a little bit of help, but it's still a little bit unsure? I would say... Stop hesitating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I would say I would say here's the real deal. Uh, I mean, the, there's everything that you want for your business or your organization to grow. She will help you figure out how to do it and give you different options, uh, teach you tools that you never knew about, and more importantly, show you how to do things yourself. And you know, help you, help you through the thinking that underlies, you know, why you're doing it in the first place, because the, those two things are really tied together. And it really, you know, came across in all the conversations we had. Um, it's not just the mechanics of, you know, how to do this, how to, how to run a Facebook ad campaign, which by the way, uh, I would say, Mary really knows her way around. I mean, she knows <laughs> her stuff about every little intricate aspect of how to dig into the craziest little corners of the yep. Facebook business, you know, suite and all the different aspects of it and how to select target audiences and how to do all that sophisticated, complicated stuff. But she does it in a way in conversation with you where it's purpose driven and focused by what is it that you want for your company and who are you and what do you want to tell people about? Yeah, I thank you so much for that. <laughs> you know, what really sticks with me is that you know how to do it now. Like, you know, in the time that we got to work together, maybe you don't know how to do a whole campaign from the beginning, but you know how to make edits to your website. You know, what are, what is your message? What is your brand? And I think that's something that, you know, I really, take with me, you know, because when we started, that was kind of like the beginning. And that's right now what's getting you more students. And because people understand who you are. And I think in the beginning, we were a little bit unsure of what direction we were going to take it. So, so that's awesome. So I really want to thank you. Is there anything else that you want to add um, before, before we go? Just thank you. I, I hope that, you know, we, we keep growing and, and, you know, I, I, you know, we didn't teach me everything that you know because I'm not capable of learning it. <laughs> but, you know, I, I hope we get to a place where we can work together again. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate that. Sure.